Hi. Didn't get to vlog last week because really busy days and I'd be so exhausted and would take literally a day or two to recover afterwards. Once again, the joys of eyebrow. But I am here today to do a food rant. And this one's about Jack in the Box. Now generally, I like fast food. And I like Jack in the Box. I like their burgers. They have a new, uh, what they call a food truck menu. Now, we live in L.A., and we have some great food trucks. Some, I mean, seriously good food. Uh, so I think that makes us, well, good judges of what it is. But I tried. I've had it twice now. They're what they call their pork belly BLT. And this is what my rant's about, because one of the things that really bugs me is mislabeled food. Now, first of all, pork belly BLT, bacon, lettuce, tomato. Now, what's the difference between pork belly and bacon? Well, bacon is sliced pork belly that's been cured. It's been seasoned and smoked. Pork belly is just that. It's pork belly. It has not been cured. It has not had the seasoning and smoking. Now, I like pork belly. It's yummy. This sandwich was a piece of fried pork belly. Uh, there was no bacon on it. So it was a pork belly sandwich with lettuce and tomato. A pork belly BLT would have pork belly bacon, lettuce and tomato. This did not. So that's the first part of my rant. I realize trying to explain it to people who don't understand all the nuances of food, but really, it's not a pork belly BLT. The other thing is that it said it was served with a tangy aioli sauce. Now, first time I had it, I had it with the sauce, and it was really more like a Russian dressing. And that's kind of the source of my rant, because an aioli is very similar to mayonnaise. They're both egg and oil based. Uh, specifically, an aioli is made with olive oil and eggs and garlic. So when you see garlic aioli, it's kind of redundant. Uh, but an aioli sauce is a mayonnaise-based sauce. It doesn't look like Russian dressing. No matter how tangy it is, it's still a mayonnaise-based sauce. So just call it with tangy sauce. Don't fancy it up by calling it aioli because it's not. It's not. The second time I got it with mayo and it was better because this tangy sauce, they sort of kind of overpowered it. But seriously, call it what it is. I was in Ralph's maybe a month month ago. Excuse me, not Ralph's. It was Stater Brothers. And they had what they called the ceviche salad, which is made with, uh, it was made with the fake seafood. Now, if you know what ceviche is, it is a seafood, usually shrimp, sometimes fish as well, that has been chemically cooked. It's put in like lemon juice, an acidic type bath, and it's the chemical, the acid reaction that literally cooks it. So it's a cooked seafood, but it's not cooked with heat. Now, if it's fake seafood, now there's nothing wrong with imitation seafood, uh, I suppose. Not my thing, but if you like it, that's fine. Then just call it a seafood salad. It's not ceviche. If you're not cooking it with the acidic marinade it's in. If you're not starting with raw seafood, it's not ceviche. It's just a seafood salad. Once again, using a term to try to make something sound fancier than it is, and it just irritates me. It's kind of like people who call sugar in a product pure cane juice crystals or palm fruit oil. That's a fancy way of saying coconut oil. It really irritates me. And it's, sometimes I just, I wish that Congress would truly fund our FDA because I think things like that should really be clamped down on. Uh, there's enough confusion about food and most people don't get good food education and they don't know. They don't know that sugar and pure cane juice crystals are the same. And, uh, I wish our FDA was better funded to clamp down on things like that, but it just irritates me. So Jack in the Box and Stater Brothers, 
I'm a bit irritated with you for your misrepresentation of foods. Shame on you. Bad, bad vendor. No biscuit. So that's my rant for today. Uh, and I'm sure there'll be more in the future. Have a great Monday evening.